ear surgery regarding ear surgery we will start with myringotomy which is the most widely performed surgery in the ear and myringotomy is the word myringo is made up of tympanic membrane myringo means tympanic membrane and tomy means octomy means opening creating a opening in the tympanic membrane is known as myringotomy then why is it necessary to create opening in a tympanic membrane the condition could be either asom acute otitis media with uh, effusion other could be otitis media with uh, suppuration and regarding asom while speaking about asom if the asom is not resolving with the antibiotic resistant to the antibiotic and the patient is suffering from very um, severe type of earache earache is very severe and the tympanic membrane is showing very much bulging then in such a condition or asom related to any complication in such a condition you need to perform myringotomy and the other is otitis media with effusion other could be either aero otitis media aero otitis media and some other tympanic membrane abnormality could be atelectasis tympanosclerosis sclerosis tympanosclerosis or atelectasis of the um, other could be either hemotympanum means blood in the middle ear cleft hemotympanum in such a condition we need to do opening and so that the fluid inside the ear can come out and in some in this same condition if it reoccurs or during its uh, chronic phase uh, a certain tympanostomy tube is inserted inside the uh, that opening which we have made known as grommet or tympanostomy tube that grommet could be uh, this is suppose that this is grommet this grommet is made up of silver oxide silver oxide or titanium titanium so this and in which condition we will put grommet if the asom is recurrent recurrent type of asom is present and ome means otitis media with effusion tympanic membrane abnormality like tympanosclerosis tympanic membrane atelectasis in such a condition or retraction pocket is formed all those same the condition indication are both same but uh, in chronic phase we prefer tympano myringotomy with grommet insertion so now coming to the uh, the incision what where is the site of the incision uh, we know that we can divide the tympanic membrane into three four quadrant antero superior antero inferior postero superior and postero inferior if the infection is in if the infection is asom if the infection is asom usually postero superior part is postero superior part mein circumlinear type ka incision diya jata hai this is for asom okay. asom and the incision is usually circumlinear circumlinear and the site is postero inferior part and in the same um, tympanic membrane if the infection is due to uh, if the disease is uh, due to ome otitis media with effusion then the uh, incision is usually radical incision is performed and the site could be either either of this means postero inferior or antero inferior this is for ome so now now coming to the post operative management for this patient with grommet insertion if you have inserted grommet then you need to take care of that patient so if it is case of asom so you need to um, discharge the discharge which has come uh, which has which has came outside the external auditory canal needs to be uh, washed off or cleaned so regular 24 hour 24 hourly discharge is cleaned if it is ome then a cotton is put in the ear and after one or two days regularly the cotton is uh, changed so uh, and then uh, the and there should be follow up under follow up the patient is asked to come after uh, twice a week yearly follow up follow up says that follow up is twice a 
ईयरली फॉर ऑटोस्कोपी एंड भिजी टू विजुअलाइज अंडर माइक्रोस्कोप नाउ अंडर कॉम्प्लिकेशन देयर कूड बी आइडर माइरिंगो स्क्लेरोसिस और टोरिया टिम्पेनिक मेम्बर परफोरेशन एट्रोफी रिट्रैक्शन पॉकेट कैन बी फॉर्म एंड ग्रोमेट कैन माइग्रेट फ्रॉम इट्स ओरिजिनल प्लेस एंड देयर कूड बी आइडर एनेस्थेसिया प्रॉब्लम नाउ कमिंग टू द नेक्स्ट सर्जरी दिस इज ऑल फॉर माइरिंगोटोमी एंड माइरिंगोटोमी विथ ग्रोमेट इंसर्सन नाउ द सेकेंड सर्जरी इज फॉर माइरिंगो प्लास्टी माइरिंगो प्लास्टी माइरिंगो मीन्स टिम्पेनिक मेम्ब्रेन एंड प्लास्टी मीन्स द रिपेयर ऑफ द टिम्पेनिक मेम्ब्रेन हाउ कैन वी रिपेयर एंड वाट आर द डिजीज वेयर वी नीड टू रिपेयर द टिम्पेनिक मेम्ब्रेन द डिजीज कूड वी एनी डिजीज विच कॉज इज द परफोरेशन इन द टिम्पेनिक मेम्ब्रेन नीड्स टू नीड्स माइरिंगो माइरिंगो प्लास्टी मीन्स माइरिंगो मीन्स टिम्पेनिक मेम्ब्रेन एंड प्लास्टी मीन्स रिपेयर repair repair can be performed for the tympanic membrane perforation by two method that is inlay or overlay overlay means uh, what we perform suppose that this is a tympanic membrane and you had a perforation in the tympanic membrane we need to close this perforation by putting a graft and that graft could be what type of graft is used that could be either temporalis fascia temporalis fascia why is temporalis fascia used because it has very low basal metabolic rate so it can it is easy its survival rate is very high other could be either tragus cartilage tragus cartilage can be used other can either be vein graft can also be put so this graft is used for closing the perforation the graft if the graft is put lateral to the lateral to the fibrous part of fibrous part of the tympanic membrane uh, that is overlay 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 type of uh, myringoplasty and if the graft is put inside the fibrous part of the tympanic membrane that is the middle layer of the tympanic membrane then that is called as inlay inlay underlay or overlay Uh, underlay is also known as inlay this is also known as underlay and the overlay is also known as onlay onlay then now what are the difference between the first difference and the most uh, uh, common difference uh, according to the site of the graft present this is uh, overlay means lateral to the fibrous and this is medial to the fibrous part of the tympanic membrane this inlet inlay allows us to see the tympanic membrane uh, sorry middle layer middle layer ossicles and we can repair the ossicles uh, while uh, performing inlay uh, but there is no such possibilities in overlay um, there is chance of graft cholesteatoma in so look cholesteatoma cholesteatoma from the graft can be seen in overlay present and there is no graft cholesteatoma and there is uh, either lateralization of the graft can be seen graft can go lateral side in overlay and there could be delay in the healing time healing time is more in overlay healing time is more in overlay and less in inlay middle ear inspection is not possible in overlay middle ear infection inspection sorry inspection can be done in uh, inlay process and um, which this takes more time time consuming uh, surgery this takes more time means overlay takes more time and this is easier and less it takes less time so this was the difference between overlay and inlay we saw that what are the grafts that can be used now coming to the next surgery third surgery which we are going to perform that is tympanoplasty tympano means tympano is used for the middle ear middle ear and plasty means repair and regarding middle ear we should know that the repair could be either tympanic membrane or the ear ossicles could be repaired and how we repair those 
either tympanic membrane or ear ossicle that could be um, by putting the graft according to the disease condition so tympano plasty and tympano plasty is divided into five times five types and type 1 type 2 type 3 in this way 1 2 3 4 and 5 now coming to the first part look the defect is if the defect is limited to tympanic membrane that that is type 1 if the defect is uh, tympanic membrane and malleus is also involved then that is type 2 tympanic membrane malleus plus incus look this both are absent in type 3 and now tympanic membrane sorry uh, now coming to the uh, type 3 in which there was absent of tympanic absence of malleus and incus and now coming to type 4 in which the supra structure of the steps is absent look now coming to the steps portion we have we are done with malleus then we did for incus and now coming to steps steps ka bhi supra structure mein problem hai supra structure is absent and at last steps ka along with supra structure the foot plate is also fixed here the foot plate was movable foot plate was movable but now it is fixed now foot plate is fixed and that is called as fifth type so uh, now the other points we should know in every uh, is then where to put the graft if the tympanic membrane is perforated then either we can put the graft into the normal tympanic membrane portion or we can put into the malleus region malleus region look now tympanic membrane is also defect and malleus is also um, eroded so the graft can be either put into the malleus normal portion or into the incus region now coming to the incus and malleus both are absent then what is the next option that is steps steps ka bhi supra structure mein supra structure now supra structure along with foot plate uh, supra structure uh, supra structure now coming to the fourth fourth may of aapka uh, steps ke foot plate pe rakha jayega foot plate mein aur foot plate bhi agar involved ho gaya hai to semicircular canal mein horizontal semicircular canal mein graft rakha jayega horizontal semicircular canal so this is all for the team panel no plasty now coming to the broad topic that is when the infection is uh, uh, under the mastoid region so this surgery uh, mastoid surgery can be divided into underlay and sorry canal wall up and canal wall down surgery so now uh, talking about canal wall up canal wall up what is the difference between up and down surgery uh, the just uh, the most common uh, difference is the um, removal of the posteromietal wall posterior uh, postero uh, posteromietal wall so then where is the posteromietal wall removed and that is in the canal wall down postero uh, what is the difference then regarding the most common difference that is posteromietal wall meatal wall removed in down but it is preserved in up so what are the example of canal wall up you should remember two example that is cortical mastoidectomy cortical mastoidectomy that is also known as swarge operation swarge operation or uh, the another is uh, combined approach tympanoplasty that is combined approach approach tympanoplasty now what are the example for down canal wall down operation that is either mrm 
मोडिफाइड रेडिकल मेस्टोइडेक्टोमी और आर एम रेडिकल मेस्टोइडेक्टोमी सो वी विल स्टडी अबाउट दिस इन ब्रीफ व्हाट इज द मोस्ट कॉमनली यूज ऑपरेशन ऑफ कॉर्टिकल मेस्टोइडेक्टोमी मोडिफाइड रेडिकल मेस्टोइडेक्टोमी एंड रेडिकल मेस्टोइडेक्टोमी व्हाट इज द नाउ कमिंग टू रिलेटिव डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस थ्री ऑफ ऑल this is cortical mastoidectomy then coming to modified radical mastoidectomy then coming to the radical mastoidectomy and regarding uh, before studying this all portion we should know three points that is what could be the approach for this surgery that could be either um, neatal approach or endo मीएटल एप्रोच मीन्स भाया द टीम एंड एक्सटर्नल ऑडिटरी मीएटस इफ वी आर एप्रोचिंग दैट इज नोन एज इंडो मीएटल अप्रोच एंड द इन सीजन गिफेन इज ऑल्सो नोन एज रोजेन इन सीजन द सेकेंड एप्रोच कुड बी आईदर इंडो औरल एप्रोच इन विच टू इन सीजन कैन बी टू टाइप ऑफ इन सीजन कैन बी गिफेन नोन एज लैम्पॉर्ट वन लैम्पॉर्ट वन एंड टू लैम्पर टू लैम्पर वन इज यूजली गिवेन इन द जंक्शन बिटवीन द बोनी एंड कार्टिलेजिनस पार्ट ऑफ द बोनी एंड कार्टिलेजिनस पार्ट ऑफ एक्सटर्नल ऑडिटरी कैनल एंड लैम्पर टाइप ऑफ टू इज गिवेन इन द इन सी सूरा टर्मिनालिस इन सी सूरा टर्मिनालिस दैट इज यूजली बिटवीन द हेलिक्स एंड ट्रैगस हेलिक्स एंड ट्रैगस के बीच में जो होता है इन सी सूरा टर्मिनालिस and very less vascular structure in the pinna and there we give lampard type 2 then the other could be post aural incision post aural incision in which the incision is given in the post auricular groove or sulcus so this is also known as sulcus incision now coming to the detail portion for the cortical mastoidectomy mastoid and modified radical mastoidectomy and आर एम रिगार्डिंग कॉटिकल मेस्टोइडेक्टोमी वी शुड नो दैट दिस इज यूजली डॉन फॉर द मेस्टोइडाइटिस दैट कुड बी आइदर कोलेसेंट और मास्क्ड मेस्टोइडाइटिस मास्क्ड मेस्टोइडाइटिस और कोलेसेंट मेस्टोइडाइटिस सो अदर कुड बी एंड सेक्रेटरी टाइप ऑफ ओटाइटिस ओ एम ई विच इज नॉट विच इज रेसिस्टेंट टू एंटीबायोटिक इन सच अ कंडीशन ऑल्सो कॉटिकल मेस्टोइडेक्टोमी इज डॉन Actually, uh, the incision is given in post auricular uh, groove may incision diya jayega and then the mastoid region is exposed and um, then we identified the mastoid entrum and the mastoid air cell are removed and um, removal of the mastoid teeth is done and then the wound is closed. Usually the site for the uh, usually the site for the um, mastoid region to identify the mastoid region we should know McEwen triangle McEwen triangle this make it uh, anteriorly zygomatic arc hota hai um, superiorly and then um, the posterior region hai posterior region mein aapka uh, posterior region se pehle aapko anteriorly external auditory canal rehta hai external auditory canal on the anterior side and posteriorly a tangent line is drawn from the uh, three zygoma above upar teen zygoma rehta hai zygoma above and downward is the posterior canal wall posterior canal wall so a tangent is drawn from so um, this is the site for identification of the mastoid ear cell and uh, when the mastoid ear cell are identified then the air inside the mastoid is removed so this is for the uh, cortical mastoidectomy now coming to the modified medical mastoidectomy in which condition do we perform mrm that is cholesteatoma formation cholesteatoma if there is cholesteatoma formation in atico entrum type of csom atico एंट्रम टाइप ऑफ सी एस ओ एम में अगर कोलिस्टियोटोमा हो गया है तो एम आर एम परफॉर्म किया जाता है देर कुड बी अदर डिजीज लाइक क्रोनिकोटाइटिस में दिया विथ अदर लिमिटेड डिजीज सर्जिकल अप्रोच इसके बारे में नहीं देखेंगे अब ये दोनों को डिफरेंस कैसे किया जाएगा सो 
uh, while performing the surgery what is the actual difference is this that um, MRM mein, MRM mein, uh, diseased portion ko remove kiya jayega only removal of the diseased portion is done and the normal structure whether look if it is a steps suppose then the foot plate if the foot plate of the steps is only involved then remove foot plate and uh, preserve the remaining portion of the steps this is the uh, this is done for the uh, mrm but in radical mastoidectomy uh, we close all the related structure like eustachian tube tympanic membrane means whatever uh, we are going to perform the surgery that is completely destroyed in the rm region now uh, now coming to the uh, radical mastoidectomy we should know that uh, in radical mastoidectomy uh, we perform, we close the eustachian tube but here we preserve the eustachian tube and uh, now indication what is the indication if the csom is associated with intracranial complication cns complication hai ya to sensory neural hearing loss hai uh, ya to um, uh, modified radical mastoidectomy se mrm se theek nahi hua theek nahi hua to then we perform rm and other could be um, either uh, malignancy ke liye malignancy of the middle ear like uh, glomus tumor uh, glomus tumor mein no radical mastoidectomy is performed osteomyelitis in temporal bone osteomyelitis in temporal bone then we perform radical mastoidectomy so uh, this is the indication regarding indication you should know um, mastoiditis cortical mastoid mastoidectomy mrm cholesteatoma in the atico entron csom ka type and then rm in the uh, severe complicated csom if the complication is in cns sensory neural hearing loss uh, mrm is failed there is malignancy in the inner ear in middle ear or osteomyelitis of the temporal bone so in this are the complete uh, indication for the uh, um, ear surgery and that's all